It's Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. It's taken me, I think, three or four trips to come here. I think it's because they think I'm related <laughs> to the Normans. This is Nicholas Norman in Belgium, the oldest pigeon family in the whole country. I don't know uh, any family who has racing pigeons for more than 120 years, so I'm the fourth generation. My grand-grandfather started in 1902 with pigeons, so... 1902? Yes, it's more than 120 years. And your pigeons even went through the war? Yes, yes. The, so they, they hide in them from from the Germans, I think, so... Yeah, yeah they're yeah. hiding. Yeah. They're, they're doing something. Now, I know on this property you have three lofts. So your lofts have always been here? Not always. My grandfather played uh, in another part of Belgium, also in West Flanders, uh, Ostrozebeke, who was uh, in the beginning a better location to play with pigeons because we live here at the seaside, it's always fighting against the wind, uh, very hard conditions to race, but the pigeons have to do it, and uh, if they are in good condition, and you have the super ones, you can beat all of them, so. And, and you guys have been playing, your, 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 your great-grandfather, your grandfather, your yes. father, now you. Yeah. Man, what, what's some of the biggest accomplishments you guys have had in, in uh, over a, over 123 years? No, we, we won the $1 million race. Uh, we have 14 national victories still now. Uh, the Euro Diamond, Golden Wing, name it, and I think we can say we won it. So. And, and in, in the toughest spot in Belgium to win? Yes, yes. So. so this loft here that we look at, this is a... <laughs> This is a big loft. It's big, yes. And I think they will not uh, construct something like that anymore. It's not allowed it also anymore here in, in Knokke, where the pigeon lofts are. Uh, you, you cannot uh, keep any pigeons uh, in a loft, I think, here. If you, if you ask uh, the government, uh, they will not allow it anymore, so. So this loft here, what is this loft house? What, what, what is this? Because I know you have three of these buildings, equally is the same. Yes. I, uh, I put all, always four lofts of youngsters. Four lofts, that's what yeah, From uh, 50 birds. Right. So in the middle, they are four times a loft of 50 youngsters. So f uh, in, e in each section, yes. there's 50? Yeah, 50, 50. Rounds. And just what, long distance pigeons? Yes, all long distance pigeons. Uh, my first round, first and second round uh, becomes there. And then when they are yearling, I, s I can move them out to the right or the left side then uh, as yearling birds. So in each, so you'll fly them yearlings out of here as well? Yes. You don't you don't move the pigeons loft for no, loft. No, no, no. Because it's too too much work, and uh, I bring in every loft one section of young birds, so they can stay there their whole I, life. Yes, I prefer to raise them like that. So that's what you do. In each loft, you'll have a group of youngsters. Yes. That way, each loft is housing. The, the, the same families of pigeons. Yes. Okay. It's all the same family. That's. So yeah, it's all the same. Yeah. All the yeah. same family. Yeah. And, and for people wondering, what is the base of your family? Uh, it's a Zorro line. So uh, Zorro was an exceptional racing cock also. And yes, father and grandfather from so many different winners. Uh, it's old Catrice line, but yeah, we we breed so long time. It's. We can say it's our own strain, so... Uh, yeah. and, and and that's the same bloodlines you're working with, crossing them amongst each other? Yes, I have good successes with, if you cross together with the, with the best, the best, because uh, some different bloodline, if you if you bred so, uh, Zorro line with different bloodline, it can be explosion, because I, I always uh, bred a long time uh, to the Zorro line and it's a real close family so uh, if you put something very good with that line sometimes it's explosion explosion now yeah. Nicholas can you take us up into the loft so we can take a look okay
here we are, Nicholas Norman's. Each of these lofts here, they have apartments in them too? For living in, or what? Yes. Man, you got it all, you thought of everything. The downstairs you can live in, the it's, upstairs you can race in. It's good that somebody is here every every day. I don't live here, so uh, uh, to protect, to know there is always somebody here uh, with the pigeons. Watch your head. So here we are in the upstairs now. So this is the section that I say they become yearly. Ah, okay. So these birds were in here last year? Yes. And I just... They, they come from a youngster lot, so... That grizzles. Yes. Magic Evans. Magic Evans, eh? Yeah. And these guys here, are you, are you letting them out? In the winter time? Yes. Yes, yes. So these Not every day, but uh, when, it's, when the weather is allowed to let them out, I do. And how will you fly these guys? What's the system for these guys? Uh, those raced one national race, so uh, they did, uh, let me think, Argenton. It's like 540 kilometers, so it's from my first round. And they have to race the one day long distance races this year as yearling. And will you fly them widowhood or? Widowhood, yes. yes. What's the, for this long distance widowhooding, how do you do it? What's the trick to widowhooding in the distance? <laughs> I don't think. Come on, you have 120 years. <laughs> I don't think it's a, a, a trick in pigeon sport. You have to breed a, a good family, a good base, and, and, and then the rest uh, will come by, by themselves. So. Uh, Tricks, tricks don't exist, you know, so you can motivate them, and that's uh, also important. Yeah, you can motivate them. Yeah. yeah. But good pigeons. Yeah, and you have to... You have to have good health and... Uh, now, do you use a lot of medications? No, not so much. Uh, if the veterinarian comes every, every week and uh, if he... I follow him, but uh, I don't give a lot, a lot of medication. So you have Time to time, they need something. Uh, I don't race without, but if you have them healthy, it's... And like for youngsters also very important if you want good results with youngsters you have to keep them in very healthy condition and that's difficult with, with youngsters as old birds it's they are healthy they're, they're stronger, not, they're stronger eh? so now these cocks here you're gonna fly them how many of them will make it to be a two-year-old <laughs> Roughly, what do a you? Few. A few. A few. So there's what? 30 in here? 25? Yeah, they are 29 for the moment. So, but I have to separate in the other loft also. So they have 16. 16. So out of these cocks, what do you think will be left here? <laughs> Maximum five, six. Now a cock like this here, this grizzle. Yeah. He's out of. Magic Yvonne, yes. Now that's an ex extreme long distance pigeon. Yeah. You're going to give this pigeon even more time, correct? That's true. Yeah. He, he will race also the same long distance races as the other guys, but then I have to wait until they are two or three years to go on Perpignan or, or uh, Barcelona or. Yeah. So the long so, distance race. So those those extreme long distance yeah. pigeons, you give them more time. Yes, of course. You yeah. don't. You're not expecting. I don't. Miracles. I don't look to the to the results for that pigeons. Okay. But of course, as yearling, they have to to fly s several times pro ten. Otherwise, they cannot stay. So. Uh, and pro ten means yes. what? Uh, per tintal, it's like 
from 100 pigeons in the first 10. For example, in the club. So, so from, th from thousand in the first home. So, if you, in your club, if there's a thousand birds shipped, yeah, you for these pigeons to move on for you, they have to fly three, three or three or four times in the top one hundred pigeons. Yes, yes, top ten percent. Top ten percent. Even, even if it's national race, eh, from ten thousand birds. Yes. From, from what, exactly what, whatever the top the ten is. Thousand. Yeah. So that then it. they then they show something, you know. Okay. Uh, and of course, like you say, uh, extreme long distance and long distance, it's, you, you, give, you give them more time. Eh? Uh, uh, but I cannot wasting time with pigeons and, and, and fill the lofts with pigeons. No, that's uh, You're looking not, to find the best ones quick. Yes. So as we keep looking here and, and showing you. Uh, this so is this would be what a young bird loft. That's that will be the young bird's loft. So it's four compartments like this. Here will be housed maximum 50 or 60 youngsters. 50 or 60 youngsters. Yes. And, and these pigeons are going to be coming out, but you put the dividers in. Yes. To make more boxes. Yes. Nice graded floors. Does this loft get very warm in the summer? No, it depends. I I can also close that shield or I have also panels to close it if it's too hot uh, outside 30 degrees uh, I put also some water in the, in the boxes bath tray yes not only bath but also for human, human. oh you put water to, yes, to get the yes, humidity out yes now what's what do you got here normally it's for breeding it's a little teepee eh? yes yes a teepee little teepee yeah, normally it's for breeding so those hands I will pair up also later on uh, this is my extreme long distance uh, hands uh, I can bre breed them later on you know what a so super hen she is it's a direct daughter from Simpson also a, a pigeon from our old strain Tarzan line who was also uh, first extreme long distance uh, ace pigeon North Holland raised by the guy is now this year he died uh, raised by Cor van der Ploeg he was here several times uh, to buy some pigeons. Be beautiful, beautiful hen. Now, question uh, people will ask. The floors in this loft are graded. Okay, so the droppings go through. Yeah. How often do you clean the droppings off the floor? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. when you put, okay, yeah. so, so you're gonna put the young birds in here. Yes. And they're gonna start doing their thing. How often the young, do you take the it young birds? It's it's very easy when when they go on training or something like that. I do it two times, two times in in one month. You know, two times in a yeah, month. Also, here here you have uh, how you say the gradings. Gradings, yeah. yeah here, here you have the gradings, but in the middle is just the floor. You know, right? Uh, I do I do, I did that here because of the youngsters also. Uh, it's it's easy for me, but every time they go on on race or uh, the, so they go on race uh, once in two weeks uh, every time we, we clean it up so uh, so you, you clean it out twice a month yes twice a month and yeah. that's that's it yeah uh, lofts are nice and dry and then I do also uh, with Dettol or I showed you last time always clean it with Dettol uh, now how do you clean like, what do you do you just put that in a sprayer yes I mix it with a little bit of water yeah so it's very strong and yeah, it's like oh <laughs> and what I you, you spray the loft I spray the lofts yeah and also do a lot of water with uh, the Dettol inside on the on the floor on the floor and I grab it all off so scrub it yeah and I for me it's a very good product and I like to smell it also you like uh, it smelling clean yes so the racing is all done on the on the second floor up here yes you're all race lofts yeah I can show you more but now the four compartments of youngsters are empty yeah so uh, at the end of oh. And another thing I wanted to, to say, I, I want to show this basket here, but guys, if you look through the window, I don't know if you'll see, but there's the, 
There's the next monster. Yes. <laughs> That's more for old cocks and... More uh, for, for old. Yeah, old birds and... Now, these baskets, this is an interesting thing. In your area, you guys still use these baskets. Yeah. It's with the name on. Yeah. Norman. So, each pigeon go inside. And you use these for your nominated yeah, pigeons? Yeah, nominated pigeons, I, most of the time 12 or 24, I pick out and, uh, yeah. Hard to do the nominations? We, we, go, we go to the club like that. We go to the club? Uh, I have one guy who helps me also with the nominations of the pigeon, who also helping with cleaning the lofts. And that's a little bit part of my father together with him. So you guys like to pick the nominations? Yes. You're good at I, picking or no? Yes, it's difficult sometimes. Uh, it's not easy. So when you send the pigeons, you you put your first nomination here. Come in here, second. Third. And when you go to the club, yeah. you have to put the birds in the exact order. Yes. As your nominations. Yes. That's because how it is. Because most of the time, one, two, three, uh, they are uh, basket for points for championships. Okay. So. Uh, most of the national championships are with first and second nominated and then you have championships also with three nominated birds like uh, my father is uh, president of Entente Belge uh, that's with three birds nominated three birds on the flights from uh, Limoges, Brive, Barcelona uh, that flights. Wow so, and everybody in your club, because I, I see these baskets everywhere. Yeah, a lot of people use them. Yeah, but those baskets you don't see Anymore. so much. No, I, I don't it's see more, those. It's more, more the original yes, ones with the tops. Yeah. But how, I, old, how old would this basket be? If you are not used to, to basket the pigeons in that basket, you don't, you don't like it, you know, because of, it's you have backwards. to take the pigeons out. And otherwise you have to take them out from yeah, yeah, yeah. behind. How old would that basket be? <laughs> the, that one is one of the oldest. You cannot, you cannot find it anymore, eh? so it's 40, 50 years old. 40 or 50 years yes. old, eh? <laughs> A little bit of history uh -huh. in the loss. So we've seen those race loss up here. What else do you have up here? You have breeders? Is I this your main breeder loft or no? I have some breeders here, but uh, the most of the breeders are uh, in one each loft. I have one uh, area to breed them. To breed them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like 16, sixteen birds are here. Sixteen breeders are here. Sixteen over there, and in the first also sixteen. So around 30, 40 couples are now together. All now together. Yeah. And you breed out of your race team? Uh, yes. At at the start at the start of the season i bred some out of my best pigeons but they don't uh, bred themselves i underlay the eggs under under couples you want to show us a little bit over here some of the breeders yeah if you want no problem no problem you're doing <laughs> good man you are on fire today <laughs> he's feeling good nicholas norman belgium uh, ryan you, you are all you, you've got you're the you know you're the, four, the yeah, fourth, yeah. fourth generation doing this now. ryan you are always on fire i am fire yeah i know now you see how he does it little individual breeding pens here This is Impact Florian. Impact Florian. This is, this is one of your favorites, eh? Yeah. But he's also already from 2013, but oh, oh, uh, again, direct, direct son Florian. He has four national ace pigeon, long distance. Super, super, super racer. Uh, also first Olympic winner. He flew himself the fourth national of Liburne, almost 800 kilometers. He flew the tenth national of Limoges from 8,800 pigeons, 650 kilometers. He flew the twentieth national Tulle. Can we see his wing? Yes. So this is one of your, leave it open for just a second. So he, this is one of your superstars. Yes. Super breeder? Super breeder, yes. I have really? several very good youngsters out there. 
and uh, you see the super qualities from these Norman pigeons. For the distance, they sit in the wrong spot of Belgium, on the toughest spot, and they're still getting massive results. Let me ask you, have you ever thought of moving from here? <laughs> now, because you're not in yes, this. Yes, of course. Uh, because you're a professional pigeon man. Yes, we're thinking about that, but uh, I, I, I'm always thinking if it not works here, so and if it works good here, so why change? Why change? You know, uh, even it's it's not easy to win, but <laughs> with good pigeons, I told you before, you can do a lot. So. Well, you've definitely got the good ones. He's a super. And, and a pigeon like this, you will breed how many rounds out of him? I, normally I underlay, now he is with youngsters, but uh, normally I underlay all his eggs. Um, but because of his age, <laughs> I have already a lot of him in breeding lofts. Uh, we have to start with, with uh, new ace pigeons, so this year we have Fort National Ace Pigeon again, like he was. Look at these two youngsters. <laughs> Who are they from? He is a, a was a very good racer. Have also the blood inside of Nicolas line. Like uh, Taske is also from Nicolas line, mm -hmm. mother of Wolverine. Uh, he is family of that pigeon. And on the other side, the Zoro line. Very, very nice setup here at the Norman's Loft. Quality second to none. <coughs> if you want, just stay there and I just open the door. Yeah. That way it's easier for you. Okay. <coughs> Who is this guy? This is 009 again. Super, super son Florian flew also first prizes. Is a full brother to the Fort National, the Fort National of Car Legacy Florian, who is also 18th National Ace Pigeon. I think he is here. Yeah, full he is full brother. Old brother. Yeah. So, okay. some Florian, some Florian. Outstanding. Now, in all the years of flying, how much has pigeon sport changed? Oops. <laughs> what do you think? Changed big time? Yeah, a lot, yeah. Because... For the good or the bad? What do you think? I, I thought it was uh, nicer to be on, on the time when my father was playing with pigeons and... Uh, it was more a hobby, you know. Right. Like now, it's, if you making good results, it's not so easy anymore. You know, they. It's a lot, a lot of uh, how you say jealousy in the sport also. And uh, there's uh, not as much romance. Yeah. Before it was they drinking together, they playing cards together. The, it was more yeah hobby, you know. And now. Uh, <laughs> If I coming in the club and have making good results, uh, the congratulations is not so easy anymore than before, you know. So it's not so fun, eh? Yeah, it's and it's, people are jealous and, and yeah and uh, I don't know how to how to solve that problem, but uh, for pigeon sport, it's like yeah, not so friendly anymore than it was before you know so well there you have it nicholas norman thank you for showing me him mm -hmm. uh, great lofts here we're going to continue this in a moment guys there's the man himself nicholas norman hey guys ryan feathers elite pigeon auctions we are at nicholas norman's loft yes or the norman's loft four generations of superstars who, who are we looking at that's the one and only living cock still alive from Zorro. He's from 2007, uh, still fertile, and his mother is world famous Aske. Aske is also the mother to Wolverine, my Guinness. Yeah? Yes. Good pigeon. 
the best of the best. Best of the best. What do you think of this pigeon in your hands for a 2007? How does he feel? Very soft and yeah, it's extremely old for for a pigeon. He's still breeding, uh, but he's still in. in Super condition. He's still in super condition. Yes. What I'm going to do is, I never do this when I'm filming. Take it in hand. But when when we you got, will, you will you will be a legend when you take it in hand. There is my other uh, Zoro. Oh, oh, baby, baby, Babies. baby. <laughs> From that cock, if, I, I'm if you want, if he's still breeding yes, further, we're going to take a season, few. You can you can have. Ladies and gentlemen, this. Is how God intended a pigeon to be. So this is a, the, the last direct son from Zoro. Yeah, Zoro with the mother of Wolverine. Oscar. You can't get any better. The buoyancy, everything. <laughs> this is called... This is, this is sex in your hand right here. This is the best of the best. And who do you have impaired to? Then we have... A little bit close family. Okay. He is son to Abraham. This is son of Abraham. Yes. So also, we'll go, we're going to Also go, one of the last. We'll, we'll go four from him and four from <laughs> him. So he is half brother to Wolverine. Okay. Let me handle this one. What the hell? He flew himself third national last Saturday yeah. also. More than 6,000 pigeons. Oh yeah. Super. Super nice. Yeah. Super nice. One of the last I have from uh, Abraham, 2014. Guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we go the distance. I've been here, what, three times now? I've almost got a room here. I'm almost gonna be yes. moving in. But both these cocks, absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Take him back. I wanted to ask you, hi. I can <laughs> reserve some for you. Yeah, 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 no problem. But you put them in. If put them you in. have time. If I have time, yes. can I move in too? No, no, you have. We you can fly together, partners. <laughs> no, you need time. You that need I can, time. That I can breed because. And you see the, the individual pens. Now I like this drinker. Uh, you wash the drinkers every day? Yes. Every day drinker washing. They must be dry. What do you mean they must be dry? Yeah, I like I like that I give them dry. Otherwise, uh, for trichamonas. Oh, you like to dry the drinkers? Yes. So you have a whole switch of drinkers every day. So you just, this is all you do all day. Pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. This is what I do all day. If you weren't 24 doing pigeons. 24 hours on 24 hours. If I'm dreaming, it's about pigeons, so. If you weren't doing pigeons, what else would you like to do? <laughs> uh, go on vacation with my wife. I don't Go know. on vacation. Boy, that, that was a perfect timing. <laughs> God, you're good. Yeah, she is now here, so uh, I have to say it. Eh? So. Well, what he said that actually before that, but <laughs> so so uh, we, I want to go over and take a look at the other buildings. Do you yeah, want? Yeah, you can also make a video of her. Eh? You see, look, all you can see is the, the hair just just above the basket. Now, do you want to go over or do you want to take a break? We go further. Eh? You want to go? I don't know. Or Did you break? ask the boss? You you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Me. You. What what is? Or we can eat something. You want to eat something? Okay, then, we then come back go. to this. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I'm with the one and only, the legend, Nicholas Norman. And you see, we were in that loft. The pigeons are still out. Now we're at, this is the first one? This is the oldest building. It was first uh, loft built in 67, I think. 67? Yes, from my grandfather. From your grandfather. Yes. Built it strictly for pigeons? Strictly for pigeons, yeah. And Downstairs, they have a living room. So a living room. Yeah, yeah. They live in the house. Or no. Uh, one person who helps me lives in the house. Yes. Okay. Yes. Take us in. Let's see, man. Okay. The name is Mas Palomas. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what's this all about? Yeah, Mas Palomas is a city in Spain, and uh, my grandfather was often going to vacation on v holiday in Spain. In Spain, and uh, name it Mas Palomas. What means Paloma is pigeon, Mas is more. Now, before we go in, just we'll stand from here. It doesn't end here. What's this building? This building is uh, for lofts upstairs, widow, widowhood again, Cox Racing Team, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, downstairs, it's all um, widowhood, hands that not race. That not race. Yes. 
Okay, so. And these are hens, so all the hens down so in here that don't race. Don't you know, and you guys don't race hens? Yes, we race hens, but not so so much. Why cocks, is that? Cocks and hens, uh, because I have a loft two or three with hens, like a racing team of 30, 40 racing hens. It's enough because, uh, um, my opinion, I use uh, more and more the cocks for one day long distance to 800, 900 kilometers. You think the and cocks the hands, are better? The hands I can play every week, uh, 500 till 600. No, also hands are good, but middle middle heavy distance I play. Middle middle heavy distance. Yes. Okay, so so this is all the lofts. There's no more secret lofts anywhere else. No, 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 no. This is all the lofts. All right. Well, hey, before we go in, I'm gonna. Uh, Switch out my battery. Oops. I need oh. only a van for my pigeons. Eh? I don't need. He doesn't need sports car. No. Here we are going up the enchanted stairs. So this is building one. The oldest. The oldest of the buildings. For people not sure, we are at the Normans. Grandfather. Grandfather. Yes. Norbert Norman. What do you think? Good pigeon man? Yes. One um, I think maybe he has more the microbe even than my father, you know? He's Better. Really pigeon sick. How did how did he get into pigeons? Uh, from his father. From his oh yeah. yeah. And how did your Great grandfather get him started. That I didn't know. That I have to ask. You don't know. No, that I have to ask to my father. Uh, maybe he knows, but uh, he was also president of uh, Antante Belge. Uh, you see here, 25 years Antante Belge. It's the biggest organization for uh, races in Belgium. Now it's my father who do that. Release of the birds. Uh, he has Limoges, Perpignan, Saint Vincent, Barcelona. Uh, so, so you guys do all the big liberations? The liberations of, of that. Uh, How's that? Fun? Know. <laughs> For my father it's early stand, standing up uh, in, in the summertime when I'm already busy with the pigeons. Right. He is behind the computer. Look. Look at uh, the weather. Look at the weather. Yeah. Hard job to do, eh? <laughs> I, I prefer that he is closer to me with the, with the pigeons eh, to do that job than yeah. But uh, he promised to his father to do that further, and yeah, uh, now he is also already 68. So maybe I think five years more, and he also will stop. Then you uh, do it. No, no, no. So you don't want to be a liberator. No, I will, Why not? I will play with pigeons, and that's enough, you know. Why you because don't want to do the liberating? I, s I see also what you get back from the people, you know, they have always discussions about uh, liberation, it's, it's... Complaining. Yes, 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 the wind is like that, or the wind is like that. Uh, it's uh, not so pleasure job to do. It's not, yeah, it's not no, so, uh, no, so good. No, but I understand my father, uh, yeah, if you have the opportunity to be president of the biggest organization of Belgium, national biggest organization of Belgium, and do that, it's, it's nice. Uh, uh, he promised to his, grand, to his father to do that further, so uh, yeah, why not? Hey, why not, eh? But for me, uh, I like to play with pigeons and uh, that's enough. Uh, now we are at that moment with two guys who can he, he can look for the liberation of the pigeons and I, I do the job, but uh, Perfect. that's enough. That's enough, eh? Yeah. So what else do we have up here when we're looking? Yeah, we, I have here uh, a few racing lofts more because the rest will be empty. Uh, this is a loft from breeders at that moment. 18 breeders that pair them with youngsters. With the youngsters, yeah. And how how old do you leave the youngsters before you take them away? What's the ages? Like what you see. Yeah. So almost the biggest I have. And uh, one month they go uh, on the lots and the racing lots. And it doesn't bother you if they pair up on the floor? No. 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 None of that matters, eh? Beautiful. Here was also the. 
the racing loft of Omerta yeah. and uh, Orgasm. Uh, yeah, that's right, we yeah. were in here last yes. time. Yes, and uh, I, I prefer to let them on, on the same uh, lofts where they race, you know, and paired up uh, with the hands. Yep. So that will be em empty, I think uh, I will bread two or three rounds of that pigeons will be empty for for maybe uh, youngsters for youngsters yes. to fly out of foot inside i have here three lofts who are empty without pigeons mm. so i can uh, so you always have enough room yes this is a oh yeah the racing loft that's a nice cock there the red one? Yeah. I put, that was also one, they were with, with, uh, with Omerta and Orgasm, they were with eight pigeons only. Mm -hmm. And I put the three old cocks to here with the uh, yearlings. And the, the red cock, he flies good? Yes, was a, a good race. So Otherwise he, he is already... Gone. Yes, he is already from 2019, so must be a good one. Must be a good one. And the red origin, you see, it's uh, from the same, the Simpson, Simpson the, hen, yes. the hen you saw there. So it's a more uh, super yes. uh, extreme uh, long. Extreme long distance. Here you have also, I have two racing lofts here with cocks. Now you see only 12 are here. Oh yeah. And also just 12 selected extreme long distance. The red one you're filming now there yep. was a really good one. I give you a hand. There were yearlings fly Aachen, 840 kilometer. Okay. And flew also Liburne, also around 800. And you clean these lofts every day? Yes. Full-time job, eh? And, uh, in the season two times a day. Two times a day. And also with basketing, I clean everything. Uh, and how many times a day will these cocks go out for a fly? Uh, only once. Once a day? Yeah. Is it always the same time? Yes. I prefer that they fly out strictly the same time. Every day? Yeah. You don't? You don't? No. One hour later, earlier, I don't do because... Uh, On a system? Yes. They have to... Eat at the same time, uh, uh, training at the same time. Yeah, it's I think important. Everything the same yes. time. Now in the winter time is not so important, but yeah. In race then, time, it's important. Yes, and then I try to feed them three or four times a day. You know. In race in, on the race yeah. days. Normally two times a day, but. I see if they are really hungry and, and eating well. Now, when you when you feed them, do you feed them in the boxes or always in the feeder? Always, always in the feeder. And you see, very nice. Yeah. Though they are those pigeons for extreme long distance. Now we're in January now. Are these cocks starting to go outside or not yet? Yes. Indeed. Every day. Not every day. When when the weather is good, they fly outside. And those are training well. Like they flying already one hour now. Uh, for me, it doesn't it doesn't matter in the in the winter time. They have to they ha they don't have to fly an hour. But uh, they train like this, uh, free for free. one. And when will you give them the hens? I will pair them up, like uh, in March. Mm -hmm. Then they have three, four days on breeding, on eggs, and then I take all everything away. That's when when the season starts. The first the first race from 120 kilometer. They are on X, and when they you return, is everything away. Everything's away. Yes. And then they just start widowhood. Yes. And when you ship the birds to the races, when do you give them the hens? Uh, I I give the hens by basketing. By basketing. Yeah. On, on I, the night of basketing. On the day on the day of basketing. Okay. Yeah. And then I started up like uh, ten minutes 
nothing more. And how farther we are in season, how harder the races, how longer they can stay together. So for the short ones, 10 minutes. Yes, for the short, uh, even even Five minutes. until until 250 kilometer, I don't show them. Uh, I, I start to show them uh, 300 kilometer. Uh, right, so they don't yeah. get bored of it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, they may. For me, it's not interesting. They are motivated on the flight from 240 kilometers. No, it's just exercise. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I know. Okay. Uh, also, uh, uh, at the end of the season, I give them also nests and, and straw that they can make a nest together uh, for the last race uh, for extra motivation also. And then I open all the boxes mm -hmm. so they can be in boxes where they've never been before. You think that helps? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. A little more motivation? Motivation, yeah. Every, every step by step, I, how, how important the flight, how more I try to motivate them. Yeah, you, with you, little things, you know. You add a little bit more. Yes, yes. Some hands uh, they had before, old hands. Right. Uh, I give them two hands for one cock and, and also... Warm them up more. Yes, yes. Just at the end of the season, you know. Yeah, uh, to, to try and get the maximum yeah, yeah. motivation out of them. I also do it with the, with the loft of Omerta, the Ford National Ace Pigeon. I do everything open and uh, a few cocks are not returning back from, from uh, the races. I give also those hands. Uh, to the new they can choose. choose what they want, you know. So little extra motivations, uh, okay. nest boxes and, and uh, yeah, straw that that they can make a nest together. So, so anything you can get that, them, then they can be for for example, four five hours together. You know. Yeah. Uh, so so the motivation works. Yes. Yes. And when the pigeons come home from the races, how long do you leave them together? It depends how hard it is. If it's a, a race, for example, uh, when he gets a national national ace bird, I it was a very hard race. They flew. 12 hours and a half eh, from car. They did only 1,050 meters per minute. Mm -hmm. Very hard. Then uh, I leave them together till the morning after. Cool. Basically just common sense. Common sense. Common sense. Okay. Yeah, use motivation yes. and, and reward. Yes, but keep it simple, you know, like. I know. Uh, Trophies everywhere you have here, eh? That I'll show you also. Oh, cognac, there he is, eh? First national tour. And then we played first, fourth, fifth, 23. Like 10, 11, and the 101st, you know? This is old birds, and this is yearlings. Sixth, 11th, yeah. One of the greatest results. Good pigeon, eh? Yeah, super pigeon. You see? The checkered the hand, yeah. hand, the sun, similar like like yeah. similar look. Yeah. Also, do you, do you guys believe in eye sign? I don't look much to the eye, but yeah, I believe in good pigeons. Good pigeons. Yes. Oh, well, you got good pigeons, that's for sure. And all, everything is just the same. Yeah, the, those are also breeders for at this moment. So this loft will be empty. This loft will be empty. Uh, I have three lofts from the from the seven empty. So I busy. can put some youngsters in and. Uh, yeah. Well, there you're seeing it. So uh, these and every year some youngsters will even come in this loft. Yes, yes. It's, it's every loft will get young pigeons. I have two lofts uh, empty. And then I can uh, train, uh, train them, uh, yeah. the cocks and the hens, uh, after, after the, when they are one year old. And I have new starting pigeons for, for in each loft, so I don't have to win them from loft to loft. So other one, otherwise, it's too much work. So, yeah, it's it, it hard to break them? Yeah. Or are they stubborn? It's, it's like uh, you let them out, uh, you take them back in, in the loft they, came, they, they lived yeah. before and then it's too much work, you know. Too much and work. I prefer when they, when they know where they're living, they stay for the whole life, you know. If they, for, for racing? Yes. For it's racing, better. It's much better, yeah. yeah. 
I believe also pigeons yeah, are, are are motivated to boxes to that that that, and then if if you have a new area to bring them in, it's you screw them start, up a bit. Yeah, you start again from from zero, you know. So I think it's important to, if you have the opportunity to let them in their own loft, stay in the own loft. R race where they where they born. Where, where they, they born? Raced. Yeah, leave them in. Yeah. yeah. Well, Nicholas, this is excellent loft, beautiful setup. Uh -huh. I don't it's, th it's old, it's old, but uh, it's still a loft. You know, these lofts, they don't build anymore, you know, so. Uh, one of one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks, uh, thanks for taking the time to show us. With I feel pleasure. sorry for the guy who's got to carry the feet up. With, with pleasure. Carry all that feed, yeah, man. That's also me. That's, you're the same, <laughs> God, look at how muscular you are. Uh, Anyways, guys, that's that's the one and only Nicholas Norman, fourth generation pigeon flyers. It's four generations. Four generations. Now, can you? The question we have is, can you produce a fifth generation? I do my best. You I know? have I have a lovely, lovely daughter. I do my best. Uh, maybe there will come another child, uh, a son. Son, Ryan. I know you name yeah. it Ryan. There you go. You'll be on the right page, man. We wish we can we can we can discuss if, if that's the name. But uh, I hope even if it's my daughter, uh, if she play with pigeons, the fifth generation will be very nice. But you cannot force somebody to do. And uh, if she likes pigeons or she don't like. We will see. We will see. Well, on that note, I want to thank you for taking the time for doing this. Best of luck in these coming uh, next year. And uh, as I always say, watch out for the little stones. Thank you for filming. Uh, Ryan. <laughs> You're a pro, eh? Yes. A real pro. Yes, I became better and better. So thank you for filming. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome, Nicholas. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. See you. Bye-bye. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We hope you enjoyed that amazing loft tour. Please, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until the next loft tour, thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.